You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the Mattel Wheel of Fortune 1988 handheld puzzle game. Now, this can be played three ways, and when I made the first video, I really didn't show you uh, the freestanding way because I missed it in the instructions, and I didn't have the VHS tapes. Now, the three ways this can be played was at the time in 1988, you could play along uh, with the actual show while it was live, and then they added these bonus tapes where you can play the game later through the VHS uh, tape player. And then the freestanding game. So I'm going to show you those. Now right now, I'm going to just play the introduction to the cassette tape so you can see uh, the instructions that they give us. So let me start that. Now check all the stuff out in this living room here. So there's our game and our tapes. Hi there! Ready to play Wheel of Fortune with your VCR? Fuzzy yeah, slippers. Good! All you need is your Wheel of Fortune game, TV, VCR, and this tape packed with 90 fun and challenging puzzles. Now, before we play, I want to give you some basic instructions. First, set your game to the VCR game mode and choose the number of players. Press Enter. And your game says to aim it at the TV screen. Now get your VCR ready. Press Play. A puzzle appears on your TV screen. Each puzzle is numbered at the top of your screen. Now to receive the puzzle, point your game at the TV screen. You'll hear a musical theme. You'll know you're aiming correctly when the red LED light is brightly lit. When the tune ends, the puzzle has been received by your game and the game tells you it's ready. If ready doesn't appear on your screen, just rewind your tape to the beginning of the puzzle and point your game at the TV screen again. When you see the ready signal on your game screen, wait until you see this message on your TV screen. Then stop the tape. Be sure you press the stop button, not pause. The blank puzzle appears on your game screen. Now get ready for fun. Player one starts the game by spinning. But wait! I know you're anxious to play. But the great thing about this tape is that if you forget any instructions, just rewind to this part of the tape and play it whenever you need help. Or refer to the instruction booklet that comes with your game. So go ahead and have fun! All right, so there you go. So let me uh, show you uh, the actual play gameplay without the uh, TV or the VCR. Now I want to do that first. So I'm going to kind of set up my camera a little bit differently and show you a close-up of the game. Okay, so here's what this game looks like up close. You've got your alphabet there, your solve and your space, your score, and then uh, the type of game, the players, and the on and off, and of course your spin button. So let me turn it on and we'll select the game mode. So right now it's set for classic one player, so I'm going to keep it at one, but you can do up to three players. So I'll go back to one, and then select a game, there's a jackpot, VCR, which I'll show you a little bit, and then the manual mode, so we're going to do that, hit enter. Now it's going to ask us to put in a puzzle, so I'm going to be the person handing it to somebody, so I'm going to put in lucky. Now that's the puzzle I'm going to pick. I'm going to hit enter, now I'm going to hand it to somebody else so that they can guess it. So it's kind of like a back and forth. So let's just say they always pick a standard T. So they're going to spin and pick T. Bad. Spin. Oh, free spin. Uh, and they pick S. Oh, take the free spin. Yes, I will take it. Hit, uh, let's just say they pick P. Bad. So they're doing really bad here. 
Now they pick the elk, so they're going to start honing in on it. 200 points, so let's spin again. So for 800 points, let's pick the K. All right, so now we have 1,000 points. Spin again, and then Y. So now they know it, so they could solve it, or they can buy the vowel. Let's just say they spend the money and buy the vowel, and they could solve it now. They know it's lucky. They hit the C. Puzzle is solved. Nice. So let me just uh, go over, show you that instruction one more time. So there it is. And then there's also the option to videotaping the TV show. And then playing with the videotapes. So that's what we're going to do. I'll show you that. And let me just show the rest of this for anybody who doesn't have the instructions to their game. Now here's the distance they recommend. So you have to be in a certain range, 4 to 8 feet. And remember he said it uh, flashes red light when you're in the range. So getting ready to play before the television show comes on. So you have to start. So this was actually being played while Wheel of Fortune was coming out. So here's the classic version, which we won't show you because we don't have the TV uh, being played live. Spinning for dollars. Choosing consonants and letters. Uh, free spin. Buying vowels. Solving the puzzle. And then there's also this Jackpot Wheel of Fortune, which I went through when I was going through the game select. It says the object of Jackpot Wheel of Fortune is to solve the TV puzzle as fast as you can. So we can't do that one either. So that ends us up on playing with puzzle with the videotape. So I'm going to do that next. I'm going to get it queued up and show you how that works. All right, I'm all set. I'm standing a little further back. What you see now is just white static on the TV. This is because there's no signal being sent. This TV is from 1986. So it's right in line with this uh, game from 1988. So I need to power on the VCR and hit play. And then I will show you the first part here. Now watch this. What it's going to do is put a puzzle on the screen and tell you when to stop. So here, get ready for puzzle one. I'll skip this one. It's going to show the puzzle, tell you what it is, a phrase, and then tell you to stop. So now I would stop, and the reason I'm stopping is because the TV has read, uh, the game system has read the signal. So let me play it again, and I will turn the unit on this time. So now it's on, and I'm going to the game mode for VCR, and enter. So what's happening now is it's beeping the red that it's telling me that I'm trying to get a signal with the TV. See that? So let me uh, hit play again, and see if we can get it to read it. So it didn't pick that one up, so i got to change my distance here. Okay, so I got that puzzle. So now it's going to, so I want to stop it when it says stop. It's a quotation. I don't think I'm going to be able to solve this puzzle. But look at the puzzle now on the game pad. And this was the same puzzle that was on the screen. Now that's a big puzzle, so I don't think I could do that with it right now. So let me hit play. Let me reset this one again and see what the next puzzle is. Hopefully it's a little easier. Here we go. That's another long one. I'm going to skip that one too. That's puzzle four. It's a title. Come on, I want an easier one to do. So let's see what the next one is. Ooh, this one looks good. So I'm aiming it at the TV. I yeah, didn't like that one either. Let me go back just a little. Okay, so it got that one. So let me hit uh, stop. And then let me uh, reset here. Now it's, it's four words. So let me reset and then I'll uh, play this one for you. All right, so my puzzle is a phrase. It looks like there's a quotation in there and there's four words. So I'm going to spin and start with the standard T and S. One T. 
And then I'll buy a vowel. Okay, so no S. Didn't like my A. Let's try E. Select cons. Oh, consonant. I spun. That was my fault. I wasn't paying attention there. F. Now I buy the vowel. Two A's. I could buy E's. I can buy O's. So don't. Hmm. Don't name me. Let me see. So let's spin and let's get the D's. So don't and then spin again. The M. Let's get an M in there. Don't maim. Let's see. Don't make me. Ooh, what's that? Don't make me. Well, let me spin and get the N. See if my N comes up. I don't know that last word. Don't make me. F it's a phrase. Don't make me. Hmm. R? Oh, I don't know. That's another thing. I don't know what letters I picked. I should be writing them down on the side. So if I pick a letter I've already picked, it's just because I forgot. L? Ooh. Don't make me. L A. Laugh. Don't make me laugh. Let me try buying a U. All right, spin. G, don't make me laugh. That's a phrase, huh? Now, I could solve it, but I'm going to go for the thousand. Fortunately, I didn't bankrupt there. So there you go. Don't make me laugh. Solve. Nice. So player one wins 3,500 points. So there you go. How's that? Now, let me... uh. Just show you the fronts of the two tapes because those are pretty neat. So here they are. Maybe I can get you a little better angle here. Not sure why they have these cool glasses on, but the fronts say Wheel of Fortune reflecting from the TV to the glasses. So that's probably what they were trying to do there. And then let me flip them for you. So those are the two tapes we have. Now, I hope uh, hope that was a much better video, and thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Uh, if you have any, uh, if you want to see that other video, check in the description for a playlist. You can also search our channel. And thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.